Hello guys, today we're going to talk about capacity. Can you say capacity? Capacity. Capacity. And there's the Vietnamese word for you. So what is capacity? How much something can hold? We use capacity to talk about liquids. So here you can see many different things that can hold liquids. So you want to see how much capacity these things have. We call those things containers. A container is anything that can contain something. So a saucepan or a cooking pot, a jar, a bucket, a fish bowl, a jug, and a bottle. Let's say those one more time. Cooking pot, jar, bucket, fish bowl, jug, bottle. Okay, some more containers now. Can you say cup, cup, mug, mug? Now you'll notice a cup and a mug look very similar, but a mug is normally bigger. And a vase, or in America they say vase. So you can say vase, like me, or you can say vase, like Americans. Next we have a glass, a glass of water, and we have a fish tank, fish tank, and a spoon, spoon, so there you go, cup, mug, vase, glass, fish tank, and spoon. And here we have more containers, so a watering can, watering can. We use that to pour water on plants to keep them healthy. Teapot. Put our tea in the teapot. Teapot. Can. A can of soda. What's that? A bathtub. Have a nice bath. Don't know why that one's outside though. And a swimming pool. Go for a nice swim. So a swimming pool is a very big container. It contains a lot of water. So are you ready for a quiz? Now we're going to do a capacity quiz. Question one. What is it? Hmm, what is it? Let's have a look. A, a cup. B, a mug. C, a jug. D, a glass. What do you think? What is that? I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I hope you got this right. It is, of course, a glass. It is a glass. That's D. Question two. What is it? A, a vase to keep your flowers in. B, a bucket to carry water. C, a fish bowl for your fish. D, a teapot for drinking tea from. What do you think that is? Give you three seconds. Three, two, one. That's right, it's a bucket. Can you say that? It is a bucket. Question three. What is it? A watering pot? Don't even know what that is. A bathtub to have a bath. A fish tank for your fish. Or a swimming pool to go for a swim. It looks a bit small for a swimming pool. Give you three seconds, say your answer. Three, two, one. That's right, it's a bathtub to take a bath in. Good job if you got that correct. 
Next, question four. What is it? A, a cup. B, a mug. C, a bottle. Or D, a jug. Well, you should know this one. That's right, it is a bottle. It's a bottle. Okay, question five. What is it? Hmm. A, a can. B, a mug. C, a cup. D, a glass. Hmm, what do you think? It'll be three seconds. Three, two, one. That's right, it is a mug. A mug. It's a bit bigger than a cup. It's a mug. Okay, and I think you did an awesome job. Well done, guys, today. I hope you followed along and said your answers. And come back tomorrow for some more lessons. Thank you very much and goodbye.